today on MTG Unpacked, we're going to take a look at the new Oko Planeswalker deck from Throne of Eldraine. And with me to do the pack blessings, we have the Ginger Boot. Alright, so let's take a closer look here. We have Oko the Trickster is the foil. This is a green and blue deck. So there's Oko again. I think he's a, yep, he's a shapeshifter. You get a deck box, 60 card deck, play tabletop or online, two 15 card booster packs, strategy insert, two reference cards, and there's actually a code in here to unlock the deck in MTG Arena. So without further ado, let's get stuck into it. And we already looked at the Rowan deck in our previous video, so go back, check that out if you haven't already. These decks are going for, let's see, $15, $16 thereabouts. Uh, depends where you get it from. And they're great for new players, not so much for seasoned players, but I like to collect them anyway. Alright, so let's take a look at the foil here, if I can ever get it out of there. Okay, we have Oko the Trickster. Look at that foiling, holy cow. Legendary Planeswalker Oko, foil loyalty for six. His plus one, put two plus one plus one counters on up to one target creature you control. His zero ability and two end of turn. He becomes a copy of target creature you control. Prevent all damage that will be dealt to him this turn. That's fun. Minus seven and two end of turn. Each creature you control has base power and toughness 10, 10 and gains trample. Okay, you can see why that's a minus seven. That's a big game finisher. Love the foiling on that. All right, let's get stuck into it. Here he is again on the deck box. New Planeswalker. And this is how we do the pack blessings, people, like so. It will maybe, possibly, perhaps get us the crazy pulls we're looking for. And what is this? Hey, before you play, let's learn a little bit about Oko the Trickster. Playing the deck, so summoning small evasive creatures, shrinking and growing creatures unpredictably. That's fun. And then you can use his ability to crush them with a super powered attack. So here's some of the mechanics to know about. Adventure, flash, flying, and plus one, plus one counters. And what are Planeswalkers, you might ask? They are special cards in the game. Tells you about the loyalty abilities there, so check it out. Okay, so that's very helpful. Now we're going to dig in here. I'm going to have to hide the MTG Arena code because I want to unlock this in MTG Arena for myself. Let's see. Yeah, so you're going to get a little card, looks like this, with a code on it, and you can unlock the deck. So I think that is a great thing for new players. So even if you don't have anyone to play with, at least you can play online to get started. So now we're going to separate out the mana base, count it up, and see how that is balanced out. Okay, we start off with Thornwood Falls. So this is a land enters the battlefield tapped. When it enters the battlefield, you gain one life. You can tap it for green or blue. We're probably going to get four of those, I would say. Yep. And let's count the islands. Ten of those. Forests. Eleven of those. Okay, so pretty much similar proportions to the Rowan deck. Actually, probably identical. Okay, let's go with the deck proper. We have Wildborn Preserver. Creature Elf Archer 2-2 two, two for 2 with Flash and Reach. Whenever another non-human creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay X. And when you do, put X plus 1 plus 1 counters on Wildborn Preserver. That is nice. Alright. Return of the Wild Speaker. And by the way, that was a rare. Same with this one. You can tell by the color there. Instant for five, choose one, draw cards equal to the greatest power among non-human creatures you control. Or non-human creatures you control get plus three, plus three until end of turn. Okay, so we're going to be pumping up creatures. Oaken, or an Oaken. Oko's Hospitality, instant for five, creatures you control, base power and toughness three, three until end of turn. Yeah, you may search your library and or graveyard for a card named Oko the Trickster. Reveal it and put it into your hand. If you search your library this way, shuffle it. Okay, so that's the uh, foil here we got with the deck. So we're probably going to get two of those. Yes, we do. Next, Uncommons, Fairy Vandal, Creature Fairy Rogue, one, two for two with Flesh and Flying. 
Whenever you draw your second card each turn, put a plus one plus one counter on Fairy Vandal. Mistford River Turtle, Creature Turtle, 1-5 for 4. Wow, he's a tough guy. Whenever Misford River Turtle attacks another target attacking non-human creature can't be blocked this turn. So let some damage get through there. That's pretty cool. Two of those. Tome Raider, not Tomb Raider. Uh, creature Fairy, 1-1 one, one for 3 with flying. When it enters the battlefield, draw a card. Okay, so blue is often about flying creatures and card draw. So we get three of those. This is an interesting new design for the card. So... Beanstalk Giant, Creature Giant, Star Star, what is all that about, for 7, and it also has for, Fertile Footsteps, 2 and a green, Sorcery Adventure, so search your library for a basic land card, put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library, then exile this card, you may cast the creature later from exile, so you can either cast the adventure first, then cast the creature, or just cast the creature straight away, and it does not go on an adventure. Beanstalk Giant's power and toughness, okay, that's these things here, are each equal to the number of lands you control. So you can imagine this guy is going to get pretty huge late in the game. Garenbrig Carver, so this is a creature human warrior, 3, 2, for 4, has shields, might, 1 and green, instant adventure, target creature gets plus 2, plus 2 into end of, end of turn, and he's just a regular human warrior, so we get... Three of those. Keeper of Fables. Yes, there are cats in magic for you cat fans out there. Creature Cat. Four, five for five. Whenever one or more non-human creatures you control deal combat damage to a player, draw a card. Good deal. So two of those. Another Fairy Vandal. Two and Veil Tree Folk. Creature Tree Folk Druid. Six, five for six. Whoa. Has Oaken Boon. Three and a green sorcery adventure put two plus one plus one counters on target creature. Right now you are a feeble stick, but I will help you grow some rings. I guess that's a Groot like creature. Next, Marileaf Pixie, creature fairy two two for two with flying tap at four green or blue. So that's sort of like a Lanoir Elves. We get Three of those. Oko's Accomplices, Creature Fairy 2 3 for 3 with flying. Just a uh, lower end creature. Two of those. Three of those. Four of those. Okay. Bramble Fort Fink, Creature Oof. There it is. 2 2 for 2. So you pay 8. What? Has base parent toughness 10 10 until end of turn. Activate this ability only if you control an Oko Planeswalker. That is insanity. Okay, so the trick is uh, getting to that point where you can spend that much mana on this guy. You get three of those. Charm Sleep. Enchantment Aura for three. Enchant Creature. When it ends battlefield, tap Enchanted Creature. Enchanted Creature does an untap during its controller's untap step. So that's a good way to lock up an opponent's creature. Are we going to get four of those? Just three. Frogify. This is another fun one. Enchantment Aura for two. Enchant Creature. And the enchanted creature loses all abilities and is a blue frog creature with base power and toughness 1-1. One, one. Sorry, your huge creature is now a frog. Hilarious. Okay, so let's see. Three of those and here's a little tip card on an adventure. So after an adventure resolves, you can place the exiled card here. You may cast the creature from exile. So that's pretty helpful. Then we have a bit about combat damage, attacking and blocking and a helpful card about parts of the turn so that can be tough to remember early on okay so there is the deck now we're going to crack some packs this is all part of the fun and the idea is that you can uh, supplement your deck here with whatever you find so magic is very much a game of deck building so you'll be looking for nice combos and excellent High-end cards. Okay, let's go. We have seven dwarves. That's pretty cool. Stillgaze Griffin. Smitten Swordmaster. Rimrock Knight. Jousting Dummy. Blow your house down. Love that one. Wolf's Quarry. Queen of Ice. Lonesome Unicorn. And Uncommon's Mystical Dispute. Marileaf Pixie. Fireborn Knight. 
And a mythic! Whoa! Questing beast! Fantastic pool, legendary creature beast, 4-4 four, for four, 4. Look at that imposing fellow. Has vigilance, death touch, and haste. Questing beast can't be blocked by creatures with power 2 or less. Combat damage that will be dealt by creatures you control can't be prevented. And whenever Questing Beast deals combat damage to an opponent, it deals that much damage to target Planeswalker that player controls. Excellent pull there. And a foil Vantress Paladin with a Planes and a Bear token. So pulling a Mythic out of a pack like that is always exciting, except if it's a low-end Mythic and then you're sort of like, eh. But that guy is pretty good. You can tell by the the symbol in the corner there, in the side, that is uh, an orangey color for the mythics. Okay, let's hope we can get another one. Next pack we have Unexplained Vision, Lost Legion, Brimstone Trebuchet, Crashing Drawbridge, Ginger Brute! Here he is! This is the Ginger Brute, people! Watch out for him. So what's his deal? Haste, one, one for one, pay one. Can't be blocked this turn except by creatures with haste. Pay two, tap. Suck him, you gain three life. Okay, so you can eat him up later. Gingerbread Cabin. That's pretty funny to follow the Ginger Brute. Garenbrig Carver. Corridor Monitor. Bartered Cow. Scolding Cauldron. Oh, this is a showcase border. Nice. Animating Fairy. This is an uncommon. You'll notice it doesn't have the regular borders, and these are typically worth a few bucks more than the regular cards. So very cool pull. Once and future, Deathless Knight. And the rare is Feasting Troll King. Yes, you have been trolled, people. Creature Troll Noble, 7646 Wall. With Vigilance and Trample, when it enters the battlefield, if you cast it from your hand, create three food tokens. You can sacrifice three foods, return Feasting Troll King from your graveyard to the battlefield. He comes back. Nice. Eight for this ability only during your turn. And a mountain and a food token. That's what you need. I like how the pie has a little face on it. Okay, so there we have it. So these Planeswalker decks, excellent for new players. You can play them in MTG Arena. And you're probably not going to win your local Friday Night Magic but still a great way to get started. And leave a note in the comments, are you planning to pick up this Oko deck or the Rowan deck? Or you're just getting stuck in the packs? And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. And stay tuned, we've got a whole heap of Throne of Eldraine content coming up. Thanks for watching and have a great day.